Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Dr. Moshmi Das. And in my last video, I have shown you how to draw a normal tympanic membrane very easily in under 30 seconds. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to depict perforations in the tympanic membrane. So, now that you all know how to draw a normal tympanic membrane, so in your examination while uh, taking your long cases and your short cases, when you have to depict what you have noticed in a patient in a case of CSOM with a perforation, where have you noticed the perforation? How are you going to represent it? That's something that you need to know for all your practical examinations. So, let's learn that now. So, for all the different types of perforations, let's start with the first one. So the first one that I've drawn is a small central perforation in the anterosuperior quadrant. So all you have to do, you, you know that this is the anterosuperior quadrant over here. And here you make a small circle, uh, whatever the size you have noticed, and this becomes the small central perforation. Next, in the second picture you can see is a medium central perforation involving the anterosuperior and the anteroinferior quadrant. So this here is a perforation, as you can see. It is involving both the anterior quadrants. Next, we can see the large central perforation involving the anterior superior, the anterior inferior, and the posterior inferior quadrant. So, this is a large central perforation or a large CP, as we all say. And this here is a subtotal perforation. Now, what is a subtotal perforation? How do you differentiate it from a total perforation? It is in that uh, in a subtotal perforation, you'll see that the tympanic annulus is always present. It is mostly almost involving the whole of the pars tensa, as you can see. But, however, the tympanic annulus is present over here and it is not involved. However, in the total perforation, you will see, as you can see in this picture over here, the tympanic annulus is absent. So, this is how you differentiate in between a total and a subtotal perforation. And also, sometimes we end up seeing a pinhole perforation. So, all you need to do is make a little circle wherever you have noted the pinhole perforation. The next kind is the unsafe perforation, which is one of them is the attic perforation. So, attic region is mostly in the pars flaccida region. So, as we know, the uh, pars flaccida is this portion which is lying in between the malleal folds above the level of these. So, this whole region is a uh, attic region and here whenever there is a perforation we show it over here uh, also the second type of unsafe perforation is a marginal perforation as you can see over here next uh, how do we differentiate a traumatic perforation from a normal uh, disease related perforation uh, CSO, CSOM related per perforation or an ASOM related perforation you will see that a traumatic perforation always has ragged edges and like you can see over here and the edges will always be blood stained or blood tinged that is how the you'll be differentiating a traumatic perforation from a central or marginal or any other different types of perforation and lastly if you had multiple perforations to show so you can draw multiple circles in different places so this is how you do represent different perforations everywhere so guys, I hope you have learned a lot from here and it has become extremely easy for you to draw a tympanic membrane in your examinations. If there's anything you need to know, any question you have, please fill up in the comment section below and let me know and I'll be replying up to you. Thank you guys for watching. Please, please, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video.